Impossible. You're confusing that word. I don't think it means what you think it means. Hi everyone, welcome to Old Lady Reacts. I am the old lady, otherwise known as Michelle in Minneapolis. I'm a huge movie buff who's seen pretty much everything. I even worked at a video store for a few years, but somehow I skipped over an entire genre of movies. So I created this reaction channel where I react to action and superhero movies and TV shows that I'm viewing for the first time. So let's finish the Christopher Nolan Batman trilogy with The Dark Knight Rises. So yeah, hmm. I can't say that I've loved the previous movies in the series. Um, there just seems to be something missing for me. I, I don't deny that they're well made and I know that people love them. And in most cases, they're pretty well acted, but the dialogue and like the relationships just aren't hitting the mark for me. And like the story beats don't flow very well. Um, they're very dark, which I don't mind usually. I like I, I like dark movies, but it's pretty unrelenting in these films and like the complete lack of humor or clever dialogue and a dependence on like massive action scenes just kind of gets old for me. Uh, but Catwoman is going to show up, I guess, so that should be interesting. Um, it'll be the first Catwoman since Michelle Pfeiffer. And I like Anne Hathaway for the most part, so I'm curious to see if she can even come close to the level of, like, perfection <laughs> that Michelle Pfeiffer displayed in Batman Returns. Um, she's got big, big shoes to fill. But I always find Tom Hardy fun. And Marion Cotillard is a surprising addition. This should be interesting. I don't know. This one doesn't have super high ratings, but it's up there. It's like number 30 on the 84 best superheroes mo movies, superhero movies lists. Um, and it's got an 87% tomato rate. To I cannot talk today. Tomato meter rating. Say that 10 times fast. Uh, so which is pretty good. 87 is decent. Uh, but looking at the reviews, like, I don't know that I have super high hopes that I'm I'm going to give it the opportunity to surprise me. You know, there have been other movies I didn't think I would like that I turned out to really enjoy, like The Wolverine just earlier this week. So let's see. And let's see if they figure out how to solve the whole, like, why would anyone design themselves a superhero suit that prevents them from turning their head issue? Because that's been my problem with most of the Batman movies to this point. So right before we get started, please support my channel by subscribing and you can find so you can find me easily and watch more of my videos. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the bell to be notified when I post the next reaction. It really helps with the whole YouTube algorithm thing. So let's dive into The Dark Knight Returns. Er, so let's dive into The Dark Knight Rises. Did I say it correctly before? I hope I did. You know what movie I'm watching. All right. So from what I remember, it was the way the previous one ended with like Harvey Dent being like the hero and Batman going off and being everybody thinking that he was the villain. Did they think that he, what is it, was it that he pushed someone off the, out of a building or something? I'm trying to remember. Maybe they'll give it, they'll give us a little uh, recap. They work for the mercenary, the mask of the man. Bane. Get him on board, I'll call it in. Is that a trap? Those guys are really terrorists. Who paid you to grab Dr. Powell? You should probably take the hood off and like see who they are first. Was getting caught part of your plan? Of course. Yeah, duh. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> what the hell? So was that whole blood transfer thing to make them think that the doctor died? Because if they do like a DNA, he has his DNA inside the dead guy. At the time of his death, eight years ago, this city has seen a historic turnaround. So thank you for telling us how long it's been. That's good to know. Telling the truth about Harvey Dent. Mm, I don't think he wants to do that. Really? Mm -hmm. But he's a hero. A war hero. This is peacetime. It's a, that is the important distinction. I don't think you're supposed to be in there. It is uncrackable. Oops. <laughs> Nobody told me it was uncrackable. You wouldn't beat up a woman any more than I would beat up a cripple. <laughs> Sometimes that, exceptions have to be made. That escalated quickly. Okay. Can I have a ride? You read my mind. Let's go. All right. That was interesting. We'll see. 
Why were you dusting for prints? I wasn't. She was. Oh, interesting. Pretty soon we'll be chasing down uh, overdue library books. He just makes me want to watch Third Rock from the Sun again. She was wearing someone else's fingerprints. She's good. Oh. She might be, but... That's interesting. I always knew there was nothing here for you except pain and tragedy. And I wanted something more for you than that. That was a fair amount of exposition, but all right. Very nice. How would you get a pinky print off of a safe? Like nobody touches a safe, a safe thing with their pinky, really. <laughs> it, that is an effective tactic, I will say. Call me. <laughs> oh dear. He's dead. So show me his body. Yeah, I say, you don't know that. Time to talk to Mr. Fox, I think. I'll get him on the phone. No, 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 no. Do we still have any cars around the place? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you got a car. <laughs> yeah, that's what you want to do is that you turn in that car right in front of another car. Mr. Wayne, you don't know a thing about me. Well, Selena Kyle. I feel like the mask should be pulled down like a slight bit. I'm adaptable. Those pearls do look better on you than they did in my safe. But I still can't let you keep them. So you can't help but compare that to like the masquerade scene in Batman Returns. Your wife said you were taking a cab home. My wife? Oh, she stole his car. <laughs> Uh, if you follow your entire R&D budget into a fusion project that you then mothball, your company is unlikely to thrive. It seems like there's a lot of different plots going on here. Defense Department projects, tight geometry, urban pacification. Rotors are configured. I'm weirded out by the music. It's a little distracting. It's like I'm supposed to be listening to what they're saying, but the music is very loud and ominous even though the conversation is not ominous did we go back out there you should hear the rumors surrounded bank i'm all ears there is a prison again what is its music this is like this information that we're supposed to hear yet there's this music underneath it that's like super ominous they have direct access to the online trading desk i'm not risking my men for your money so shut down the trading desk and don't do any don't allow any trades Not sure that the action is particularly clear as far as like progression of like this person's doing this and this person's undoing that and it, 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 things aren't making that much sense. I feel like that cape would get caught in the wheel or whatever it's using to propel itself now. So we learned that from the Incredibles that the, the cape gets caught in stuff. There's an old... What is that old horror movie that I was forced to watch when I was a kid by some friends at a, sleep at a sleepover? I think it was called Happy Birthday to Me, where somebody was fixing a motorcycle and a woman, a girl came along and had a, like a scarf on and then like they were revving the motorcycle and they, the whoever the horror movie guy was, the villain was, threw the scarf, end of the scarf into like the workings of the motorcycle and like sucked her into the motorcycle. It was really ugly. Okay, so how she's got his, her hand on the thing, but her foot on the hand, like. <laughs> but we didn't get a full length view of what she was, like the way she was actually standing. That's a shame. With the record. Hold it right there. And how did that guy know to come in the room saying, hold it right there? Like, how did he know what was even going on in the room? Were you typing someone's name, date of birth? In a few minutes, they're gone from every database on earth. Thank you for explaining that. Control. Those weren't street thugs. They were dream killers. Again, the voice not working for me. It does look at least look, it does at least look like there's some flexibility in the neck thing. Or he can, you know, he can actually like look up and, you know, turn his head. What if before she died, she wrote a letter saying she chose Harvey Dent over you. Oh, that's right, because he hid the... Yeah. I burnt that letter. How dare you use Rachel? Yeah, he's, a, he's not going to believe that, but even it, it is true. Do 
Does anybody actually sleep like that, flat on their back? That's the only time I ever snore is when I'm flat on my back. Usually I wake myself up right away. I'm trusting you. Doesn't count, you have no choice. I think it still kind of counts. I'm afraid he has a point, Mr. Wayne. I mean, she'd been meeting with him, she'd been sleeping well, with him. How do we know, Art? Uh, clearly, you don't know much of anything, do you? So I feel like we skipped a scene of where he, like, actually tells them that the chick is going to take over. I... Yeah, the end of the time you've all been living on. <laughs> I'm still confused about why Bane, like, exists. <laughs> do we get any kind of, like, origin story, I hope? Of, like, why, what the mask is or what it means or why he's wearing it? Like, fingers crossed that we do, I guess. No, you're not. <laughs> um, on my own now. Do you have keys? Never needed them. <laughs> he doesn't know how to get down into his own house. Okay, that seems like it came out of nowhere. The plot seems very segmented to me. Like, it's just like, this happens, then this happens, then this happens, and there's this, it's like, not just step by step, like weird. It just feels weird. So I'm confused as to um, why they're fighting, I guess. So does he not have any weapons like on him that he could use? Like. Who dresses like that when they're trying to be incognito? That's like the least incognito outfit I've ever seen in my life. Like, nobody dresses like that. We will destroy gossip. You know, the Avengers destroy cities all the time, I guess. Like, I'm not really concerned about Gotham being destroyed. Like, it's one city in the whole world. The Tent Act allows non-segregation based on extraordinary need. Yeah, right. Honey, you want to hold my hand? She's going to be fine. What is it? <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen. They don't put women in those men's prisons just because they're bad. <laughs> we're seeing literally thousands of police heading into the sewers. Mr. Mayor, we're literally thousands. I guess I don't understand why all those like individual cops were gonna, what they were gonna do down there anyway. Like, what do you need thousands and thousands of cops just present underneath the <laughs> sewers? Like, it seems such an odd thing. I don't think people would be staying in their seats either. Like people would be scrambling to get out of the stadium. <laughs> they don't, people don't sit in their seats. Foley, Jesus Blake, every cop in the city's down in those tunnels. So maybe that was a bad tactic. Maybe you like send a few, <laughs> like why would you send every cop in the city down? This is the instrument of your liberation. Satellite shows the This is so weird. I don't. <laughs> Start high level reconnaissance flights. Get the president on the line. They only thought of that after the, all of that. Like, I think once like the first couple of bombs went off <laughs> and they started collapsing the bridges, like they feel like the president would have been on the line a lot sooner than that. Behind you! Stands a symbol of oppression. And the press just happens to be there in that spot? Oh, Jesus, plot, I don't know. Down this corrupt city! Yes, yes, yes. How do the, the prisoners know what's going on? Like, they don't, they don't have TVs in their, in their cells. Of all the corrupt! How does she know what's going on out there? Like, what is she, what are they all listening to? Oppressors of generations who have kept you down with myths of opportunity. Who is he talking to? <laughs> the camera's all ran away. Oh, there's a vertebra oh. protruding from your oh. back. Ow. We put back. Oh. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh. Somehow I don't think that's the way to do it, but okay. Yikes. My great love. Taken from me. You were the mercenary. 
minutes, but we didn't get this all until like an hour and 45 minutes into the movie. Like, just like the whole the story construction just is odd to me. His arms are still pretty jacked, though, I gotta say. Oh, <laughs> that's interesting, okay. That's the difference. So Boomy's all fine now. Ow! I say, couldn't he? Could they climb up the rope? I'm in contact with my partner who's down there. They're just waiting for the day. Men who haven't seen Dave. That's his partner. Have we seen his partner to this point? They just like he just has a partner. <laughs> what well, seems like it's that jump that's the problem. Like, could you? You know, those those freeform climbers that like they get their hands in the little things and they're able to climb. I don't know, maybe that's just a Jason Bourne thing <laughs> where he was like hanging off the side of the building with the, just the brick, the line of the bricks in the, in the where the mortar was. Like I feel like it's, there's enough to grab onto there if you were like a really good like freeform climber, whatever that phrase is that they call themselves. Now what? Why would there be anti-tank things on the stairs? That's what those little things are. They're anti-tanks. Dagon Industries, who for years has been oh, that's, what's his name? blood and sweat. So weird to see him with an American accent. Like we have a lot of time here. How long? Bomb goes up tomorrow. <laughs> the, the passage of time seems to... <laughs> It'd be like all of a sudden it's the days are over. Hey Jim, I gotta keep your head down. What is that gonna do tomorrow when that thing blows? You don't know that's gonna happen. I kinda do. I believe that. You trust me with that. After what I did to you. I'll admit I was a little let down. Isn't that do you really need the clean slate at this point? Like the the whole city is kind of gone. Like, who cares about what she did in her past? We don't even know what she did in her past. That she's so worried about getting rid of. Like, I mean, yeah, she stole some jewelry and shit, but who cares about that now? Heads up, heads up. It kind of amazes me that people are just like allowed to wander around. Like your girlfriend, Mr. Wayne. He should be so lucky. <laughs> that was a good line. I like that. Any move I make on Bane or the bomb, Trigger Man sets it off. But well, he won't use radio walls. Didn't they break into the arsenal, or was that was that in a separate place than than all that other stuff? I thought they broke into the arsenal and took everything. Did those rivers fee freeze solidly, or no? I guess I don't know. The Mississippi River does, in some places, but. Up here it does anyway. Was the other mask like so far down? I'm trying to remember like the George Clooney mask like where it seemed like it was just it's just so weirdly like squished around his face. Impossible. You keep using that word. I don't think it means what you think it means. Oh, that let all of them out? So all of a sudden they, they didn't show like one guy like peeking out? It's so weird the way it's edited. I don't know if it's edited. Like did they not shoot these connector connection scenes? It's just transitions are weird. Sorry to keep letting you down. Why is her thing so thick? It's like it's very, it's like half an inch thick almost rather than like pressed against your face. Yeah, he can't breathe out of his nose. He's like, <laughs> he's acting with the mouth open and stuff. I, I gotta say, I do like the little thing. That, it's, that is clever. It just, it seems kind of weird that they're having a fist fight in the middle of everybody else's fist fight. Like, <laughs> they're all just like fighting one on one. Even though that guy has like a, a machine gun like on his back. Give it to an ordinary citizen. Where is it? 
Where's the tra Oh, the voice is bad. So bad. And I think he's, I feel like he's ruining his voice. As an actor, like, it's just like, you're not, that's not being used well. The child of Ra's al Ghul may decline. But he's not the child of Ra's al Ghul. <laughs> I am. Okay, that was unexpected. Okay, well, that was surprising. Killed him is simply a reward for my patience. You see? Close your mouth. No matter. <laughs> He spot Gotham 11 minutes. But it said 11 minutes when he sh they showed it when he opened the thing and looked in, it said 11 minutes. So you don't actually see him get shot? Like, why wouldn't they show them getting shot? That's so, it's like another weird cut. There's a lot of telling and not showing. About the whole no guns thing. I'm not sure I feel as strongly about it as you do. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. All right, boys, get in the circle. Bow your heads. What, they're gonna, what, they're gonna pray? Because I don't think that's gonna have any effect. If it hasn't worked to this point, it's certainly not gonna work now. I feel like she needs a helmet. She's riding a very scary motorcycle that doesn't really work very well. Uh-oh. I climb fast. I'm reassuring is putting a coat around a young boy's shoulders to let him know the world hadn't ended. Okay, I do remember that from the first movie, yes. Huh. I suppose, yeah, they don't, don't, they don't get it caught on any power lines and stuff. Okay, well, we know that that's not probably not... He's, I've seen enough superhero movies to know that he's he ain't dead. We know he's probably not dead. You should use your full name. I like that name. Robin. Thanks. Why are we Robin? That's interesting. I could see him as being a pretty decent Robin. I wouldn't mind that. Turned, we can't leave a string of pearls on the manifest is lost. That's an oh string of pearls. So he's gonna know where to find her. Interesting. Because that pearls have a tracker in them. Oh, it's fixed. Oh, it's her. It's with her. That's. It seems a little weird for him to be with her, but that's. I'm all kind of okay with it. So I've been doing a lot of thinking about these three Batman movies and why they just don't seem to resonate with me at all. Um, I'm not sure that I can put my finger on it. I, I see the quality of the production design and the work and the high level of creativity that goes into films like this. I don't, I don't want to minimize that. It's clearly well made for what it is. But for me, again, it, it all comes back to the story. Is the story gripping enough and told well enough to get me emotionally invested in what happens to the characters? And again, the answer here is no. Like, I didn't feel much watching this movie. Like, there was a little bit of surprise at the big reveal, and there were a few clever lines that made me a chuckle a bit, but beyond that, I, I was just kind of waiting for it to be over. <laughs> like, there were so many bits and pieces of information that were missing that I got confused about. Like, why did D Bane's mask need to look like that specifically? Like, what was the utility of it? And what specific injury was it trying to fix? Like, why didn't they show it being developed or being put on or take it off at the end after he dies and like show his face or how, you know, add some pathos there or something? Why was Selena a burglar? Where did she learn all of those skills? Why, why did she want jewelry like that? Why did she choose to dress like a cat? Um, other than to be sexy. I'm assuming there was some other reason other than to be sexy. Like, what was the point of her, of putting her in a men's prison when they could have just had a women's prison next door or something and let the women out what they would let the men out? Like, what? It, it just, it didn't make sense to me. Um, how did they keep all those cops underground in the city with a million manholes and drains and basements and all that? When there were clearly, like, they were allowing people to walk around Big cities have hundreds of ways to access the sewers. <laughs> like, 
And where was the military? Not out, like outside the city, city, the city, but inside the city. Like I'm sure there were military guys like living in Gotham, minding their business, doing their thing. That I'm like, I'm sure they had weapons too. Like I'm sure they would have gotten together and tried to like figure something out outside the sewers. And what was going on outside of Gotham while everyone was in Gotham was waiting to be rescued. Like I feel like everybody outside the city was just sitting around and doing nothing but gathering supplies? Like, I just, it's just so weird. Like, who was Blake's partner and why didn't we get introduced to him until like two minutes before he gets shot? Like, why didn't we see that he had a partner at all? Like, it was just weird. And I felt like that at two hours and 45 minutes, if there's still so much story missing from your story, you need to re- reevaluate how you're telling it. Like, it could have been just so much more simple and that would have made it more captivating because the pieces are there. There's good pieces there, but just there just there's nothing tying them together. And it's not the darkness of the movies that bother me. I I don't mind dark movies. I can go with it, and dark movies can still be really engaging, and they can also be still be really fun. But that's another thing lacking in this movie. These movies is fun. Like I can't help compare like the dance kind of masquerade scene in this movie with the one between Michelle Pfeiffer and Michael Keaton in Batman Returns, especially since it was set up, you know, that one was set up with several scenes of them kind of flirting as themselves, but also as Batman and Catwoman. Like, so the sexiness and cleverness of the dialogue really comes through and is building up and building up and there you can feel like them getting more and more connected until all of a sudden the the rug is yanked out from under them and like they both realize that they've re- revealed more than they intended like that scene sizzled between the two of them and here maybe it bubbled a little bit um Anne Hathaway did as well as she could with the dialogue and the story that she was given um but there wasn't there just wasn't much there to work with and she ends up becoming a sidekick in cel- instead of a villain which is kind of disappointing like it certainly, they didn't, there was no sizzle between them enough to make me glad that they ended up together in the end. Also disappointing to me was how little of Tom Hardy's face we get to see. It, it, it must have been so hard for him to do any real acting behind that mask because his face is so expressive. Like as we saw in Venom, but also which we see even more masterfully done in Peaky Blinders, he is transformed in that show playing Alfie Salmons. And here he's just given nothing but his voice to work with, which was an interesting choice in and of itself. And then some physicality, which just, it made me see him as some, almost as a sort of robot. Um, Like it was hard to remember that he was supposed to be a real person. And when he was on the screen, I found myself trying to like look closer at his face to see if it was really him or if maybe they just had a different actor do it and then he was the voiceover. And as a character who's supposed to be a huge villain, until it's revealed that he's actually not, it was just underwhelming for me. And Marianne Cotillard just wasn't specifically interesting enough, personality-wise, to fill that gap for me. Like, I understood her backstory and her motivation, because we were told it, um, instead of being actually, like, shown it, but okay. Uh, But the details just weren't really there to set her apart as anything worth being concerned over. So yeah, sorry if you love this movie, but overall, like, I, overall, it's not a terrible movie. And I, I see what they were trying to do, and I, I can see why people really love the entire trilogy. Um, but for me, the story just didn't hook me at all. Sorry. So thanks so much for watching my reaction. Please take a moment to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and the bell button to be notified when I post the next movie reaction, if I haven't scared you away from the rest of mine. <laughs> I appreciate all your comments and recommendations and arguments and corrections when I screw up the facts. And I love when you guys start arguing with each other in the comments. That's super fun. Thanks for watching with me. 